Hello, I am Dr. Manisha Roda. I am available at Max Hospital Gurgaon and at Matritva Clinic in South City 2, Sector 49. Today we will talk about the main three cancers in females. So, so first of all is the cervical cancer. India mein jo most common cancer hai, wo cervical cancer hai. Se cervical cancer is acquired by uh, sexually transmitted virus which is known as human papilloma virus. So, aisa nahi hai ki sare jo strains hai human papilloma virus ka, they are cancerous. There are certain strains of HPV which are cancerous. When once it is, it enters into our body, then it remains dormant for some time. Usually, the cancer ki peak age is 34, 35 years to 55, 60 years. Tak mein cervical cancer hone ke chances are more. And the best way to prevent it is regular screening and a cervical cancer vaccination which is available. Regular screening is by pap smear. So once you are advised pap smear, you should undergo a pap smear, especially after 25 years of age. And if you are sexually active earlier, then around after 18 years of age. Another way, way is a, a cervical cancer vaccine, which is available from to, it, the recommended age for the cervical cancer vaccine is from 9 to 26 years of age. And between 9 to 14 years of age, only two doses are required. So we should all immunize our daughters uh, from the cervical cancer vaccine so that they are protected against a cancer. So we should protect all our daughters by giving them cervical cancer vaccine which is very important for them. Even if you are more than 26 years of age you can take this vaccine though it will not give you 100% protection but it is it is it will still give you enough protection. Then the other uh, if we talk about the symptoms of cervical cancer, cervical cancer mein patient ya to post coital bleeding ke saath ya intermenstrual bleeding ke saath bhi aa sakta hai aur sometimes these cancers may remain hidden for a long time and that is why cervical cancer screening is an important test. The next cancer that is important is the uterine cancer and the ovarian cancer. Uterine cancer mein thoda sa genetic predisposition hota hai more commonly it is seen in postmenopausal or perimenopausal age group and the genetic predisposition in the sense koi na koi family mein chances hote hain ki unme cervical unme uterine cancer ya uh, ovarian cancer ya breast cancer ki history rahi ho so these patients are at an increased risk more fatty patients are at an increased risk of developing uterine cancer. So any abnormal bleeding that you are having around the perimenopausal or the postmenopausal age, then you should immediately report to your doctor. Aapka jo basic investigation aapka doctor karayega wo hai ultrasound TVS, internal ultrasound, jisse ki endometrial thickness ko dekhte hain aur jo hume ye idea deti hai ki there can be a chance of cancer. So the third cancer is the ovarian cancer. Ovarian cancer is more common in India only in the postmenopausal age group or in teenage before around the reproductive age group se pehle. So in the reproductive age group, uh, ovarian cancer is not that common. Most important thing about ovarian cancer is there is always a history, usually a history of a colorectal cancer, ovarian cancer or a breast cancer in the family. Uh, the important thing is that ovarian cancers are not easily diagnosed unless you get an ultrasound done. Generally, the symptoms of ovarian cancer are simple dyspepsia, like uh, uh, indigestion, uh, acidity. Patient patients eat their medicine for a few days and then when they don't get it, they do an ultrasound. On, on ultrasound, just generally there is an ovarian mass. Any ovarian mass is not a cancer. So, if you have an ultrasound pe koi ovarian cyst or ovarian mass, aaya hai, that doesn't mean you are suffering from an ovarian cancer. You have to consult your doctor. Most of the ovarian cysts are non-carcinogenic. There are certain criteria, the size, the ecogenic contents, the solid components. If all these things are present, hoti hai, uh, the, the size, the uh, ecogenic contents, the solid components, these we have to consider when we are th thinking about ovarian cancer. Ovarian cancer at a particular stage, tak, it can be easily operated surgically. But in a particular stage, ke baad, we generally chemo and radio. Ki padti hai. So, regular routine ultrasound at least uh, once in two years or once in a year, this is very hai depending upon your family history of cancers. Protect yourself from cancer. Thank you.